Well, we're just right down the road now. Uh, came down here, parked. Lita went, us, went and got us some lunch. And now the truck won't start. So... It cranks and cranks and it, it sounds like it's trying to start. But it just won't start. He said that we were Eastern on that, at that job site. It's crazy looking. Maybe it's a silo. What are we picking up? Some concrete thing? Well, there she is. This thing was listed as 48 feet, 11,000 pounds. And I don't know if this has a weight on it. I don't see a weight. That's Mason calling me. I don't see a weight. Let me get this uh, strap down and uh, we got to tarp this too, so. Alright, just got loaded up with this fiber board. As you can see, we got lots of room left. I need to I need to move. It, it didn't put me in off duty when we pulled up here. I'm trying to do my 30 minute. I'm just gonna have to move. This has our, our address punched in. GPS does, yeah. Okay, he's gonna go over that way, so we're gonna sit here and get our 30 minute in. Um as you can see, it's a little bitty load. So I got Mason looking for partial to go with this. But nobody's wanting to answer the phone. It's like, you guys post these loads and then you don't answer the phone. 
I don't understand. Oh, I don't get it. It's on hold. Yeah, so I don't know. Hopefully we can throw something else on this because this is a little bitty load. I think they said it weighs 11,000 pounds. It's probably an 11,000 pound load since it's a uh, concrete board. What's the BOL say? Eight thousand? Yeah. Is that right though? Nah, they, they probably have a better. Let me see it. They probably know what it weighs more than a broker. Uh, eight thousand six hundred eighteen pounds. Yeah, that's probably right. I mean, this other load doesn't weigh five thousand pounds. Four thousand eight hundred ninety. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. See you in a bit. Well, we're just right down the road now. Uh, came down here, parked. Lita went, us, went and got us some lunch. And now the truck won't start. So... It cranks and cranks and it, it sounds like it's trying to start. But it just won't start. I don't know if it's a fuel pressure problem. I don't know if it's an injector problem. I don't know what. I pulled my air filter. I sent Lita in to get some uh, starter fluid. We're going to see if we score some starter fluid in there, if we can get this thing started. If we do get it started, uh, I'm not shutting it back off until we drop that load and get back home. Um, there's another load picking up in Ohio, going back to Orlando. I don't know what to do. I got Mason here. Mason came up uh, to actually bring me one of my cameras. One of my cameras came in the mail. Alright, when I'm cranking this, I need you to spray that in that hole back there, okay? Which, which hole? All the way back. Okay. Let me see. Let me see if this will... Yeah, like that. Well, she's running this little red knob thing I don't know what it does popped out of there 
Now I was messing with it. Um, and it still started rough. But it's running now. So now it's like, do I take the chance? And try to run like this? I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. I got Mason looking to see if the Orlando load's on there. I mean, there's an Orlando here. This is not the same Orlando that was up earlier. The one that was up earlier was 2,900. So you don't see, are you looking, is that Monday that you're looking? Or are you still yeah. looking, or is yeah. that set for today? No, that's, this is for... Damn it. Yeah, Orlando, I was looking out for I don't know what to do. We can't shut this bitch off again. We can't shut it off again. Do we attempt to run it? I mean, we gotta drop the float, right? I don't know what to do. That's that valve that they were talking about, though. I mean, I was messing with that earlier, yeah. and then I couldn't get it. I mean, I thought it went back in, but then it popped out. Well, that's how we get air in our line. Well, I don't know when that was fucking loose. But... It wasn't loose until I messed with it earlier. Yeah. I thought that was how you primed the pump, so I was trying to prime the fuel pump. check the return to the tanks. I mean, the other way to check that there's an overflow valve, the valve is located in the front of the head, it takes a 78 wrench to pull out. I think we've decided to try to run it and just not shut the truck off. See what happens. I can't believe there's so many guys still here. I know, right? That's kind of weird. Yeah. Well, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. I mean, he's almost blocked us in. Yeah. I think it was a big deal that he parked by us because I figured meters still there. I mean, so it accelerates fine. There is like a weird, I can't tell if it's like a tire shake or like an engine shake around like 1400 RPMs. Um, but it doesn't do it in the lower gears. It only does it in like the higher gears. And it usually only happens like when I'm pulling a hill. 
This is a mobile truck wash. That's pretty cool. So, we'll run this up to Florida. Ohio. Or Ohio. And keep a load out to come back. And the Eagles are so much better than the Eagles. Probably a stupid thing. Probably a stupid thing to do. But what am I supposed to do with this load? Take it back? I don't even think they're open. Probably not. Four o'clock? I don't know. We'll see you. Maybe you guys can hear it um, as I accelerate. We're about to get on the interstate. I mean, it accelerates fine. I can shift up to like eight gear fine. Wow, that motorcycle is stupid as hell. I mean, it doesn't stutter, doesn't shake, it doesn't do anything in these lower gears. I mean, I can ramp it all the way up to 1800 RPM. No problem. It's when I get into the uh, higher gears, around 1400. It seems like it, it stutters and it struggles to get like past 60. There, oh, oh, I don't know, man. Oh, we gotta find a shop right now. Let me call Mason. Continue with 75. Nope, it's not gonna last. Hey, this isn't gonna last. You might need to stick around. You might be bringing me home. Sorry. All right. All right. Yeah, like right around 1400 RPM. Georgia Diesel Services, Ray Lee's Truck Repair. Here, I'll give them a call. Hello? Yes, hey, do you guys work on Mac trucks? On a Mac? Yes, it's a Mac Pinnacle. It's got the MP8. I don't know if I'm having like a fuel pump issue or like an injector issue. Is that something you guys could look at? Oh, Tuesday or Wednesday? Okay. Okay, um, let me call you back. Um, we're we're kind of passing through, so I was hoping to get somebody a little sooner. And uh, I'll let you know. Okay? All right. Okay, thank you. Is that release? Yeah. Feel like Watch out. Watch out. Just get up there. Maggie, come on. We need to contact this broker. Ask them if we they need us to take this back or our other truck can pick it up Monday. Unless we can get it fixed before then. Um, Georgia Diesel Engine Repair. Where is this at? That's a big
Is there a number we can just call the broker? Um, he, he sent me this app to message him with. Oh. So I'm messaging him on this app. Yeah, it's fucking idling, buddy. Can you feel it? Yeah. I wish we could get it down to fucking Georgia to that place. Wait for truck service. Warner Robins. Hey Chris, I've got a uh, 2008 Mac. Uh, it's got the MP8. I don't know if I'm having an injector problem or a fuel pump problem or what, but the truck's been really hard to start here lately. And I just stopped uh, at a truck stop, turned it off, and I couldn't get it started unless I unless I sprayed starter fluid in it. And now it's running like it's not running on all the cylinders. It's pretty rough, so I don't know. Um, I've got a load on the trailer right now. How, um... Okay. How soon do you know you could look at this? Monday morning. Okay, let me contact the broker. See what the broker wants me to do. Um, I'll see if I can drop this trailer somewhere. How late are you guys, are you guys open... How late are you open today to drop the truck off? Okay, 10 till 6. Okay, all right, appreciate you, Chris. All right. So the broker wants to know when the other truck can drop it. Truck is dropping uh, Monday morning in Atlanta. So as soon as he can get back up there. Going to A1 Auto Brokers on New Street. Was that a truck? That was a truck Georgia. stop? Yeah, there's. I wonder if I should try this Loves. Maybe. Or should I try the QT? I don't know if I have to pay them for parking. Let me call Chris. This is a low stop. Got, that's got a good amount of parking. Hey, when are you dropping in a, you're dropping first thing in Atlanta? truck running but it, I don't think it's running on all cylinders yeah uh, we're gonna go over here to this loves and see if there's parking and then maybe go in there and explain to them I don't know if I have to a diesel shop that I might bring it to over here. I mean, I'd like I'd like to take it to my No, no, they don't have parking. They don't have parking for my trailer. They said I have to drop my trailer. Yeah. Yeah, you said you said that we can put the other truck on it. Yeah.
We'll need to leave the registration and ship on. Yeah. I mean, this load's only 8,000 pounds. It's, it's a little bitty load. Where'd you move? Um, Loves, North. I don't know what exit this is. Um, one second. Gonna drop trailer. Mason, I had Mason come up here. One of my cameras came in, so he fucking drove it up to me, and just so happened, my truck won't, wouldn't fucking start when he was there. Why can't we fucking go? This is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Are we not gonna get a fucking green light here? Because the truck was running. I was like, oh, okay, well, I just won't shut the truck off. And going down the interstate, it's like, go, 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 like I'm running out of fuel. You tell him it's 153. No, I have him turning around. He's coming back. Oh, my God. This is a fucking nightmare. This fucking light won't turn green. This is fucking crazy. I'm just driving. I'm just driving to a Loves. I don't know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I gotta go. All right. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh, this, this shit's still fucking recording, too. All right. So, uh, we contacted, or we went to Loves. Lita went and talked to the manager, explained to them what was happening. They said, go to the shop. The shop will give you a tag to put on your trailer. We did that. We dropped it. Mason's there getting the uh, motorcycle off the trailer. And then he's going to meet us over at Next Train to pick us up and the dogs. And uh, I think Next Train said that they can uh, get, they can look at my truck on Monday. So I called Jane M. Diesel, the one I usually deal with in Valdosta. Turn left on and uh, they're over a week out, so I don't I don't have a choice. I thought about limp, limping at home and letting them work on it, but uh, they sound like they're pretty busy, a little bit pretty busy, so that's not gonna work. All right. Well, we'll see you at next train. Well, here we are. So, Mason will come pick us up from here. I mean, how crazy is it that I had Mason bring me my camera and then my truck breaks down? And then, I just helped Roberto out. What's the saying? Uh, no good deed goes unpunished? I guess it's true. You help someone out and bad things happen to you. So, this is what we got. Anyways, Lita's gathering up our things. We'll be going to the house. Uh, hopefully they can diagnose and fix this thing rather quickly. Uh, we still have that cruise that we have to go on. Like, 
this is why I don't like going anywhere. Like the last vacation, um, well, a couple of times ago, uh, me and Lita tried to go on vacation. We took the boys down to Tallahassee, got a hotel room, and one of my dogs killed my other dogs. So this is why we don't like to go anywhere and do anything because something always there's something always around the corner. Ain't that right, fat butts? We're going home, babies. Does that make you happy? Where you at, Mackie girl? <laughs>